Hey right, guys, back for more Spider-Man PS4, and let's Entirely just entirely the worst every once in a while. All these district points. Now changes depending on what I do next. Try talking through your feelings yet? Oh, great! Spider Man's here! For the dog! We'll never get New York! Fight for your space territory, Swarp! Why don't you stick this one out? Guess it was wishful thinking that those hammerhead thugs would disappear with their boss. escorting a key hammerhead witness I should make sure they're safe gotta get this guy on the road hammerheads looking for him he's that important of a witness he's that important okay time to roll to the new safe house Hammerhead witness out of my sight. tired of losing. Uh, maybe it's just me.
happy to let the police take it from here. Hope the trial goes well. Let's drive around there. After this, so great. great chase, fellas. Let's never do this again sometime. myself feeling sympathy for the Magia. But here I am. Being loyal to him? That's a question. Officer, please proceed to Hamilton Heights. What the hell? 
Upper East Side. Yeah, these DLCs were definitely made to be played back to back, I think. This Turf Wars literally just drops you into the fucking story, the meat of the story of these DLCs. Public hits in my city? How about me? How about you let these nice folks go? Well, you tried it. I don't know how Hammerhead found it. Okay. Output. Spider-Man! Damn! Maybe it's not so bad after- 
Don't know what we would have done without you, Spidey. Appreciate the assist. Good thing I got here in time. Hopefully that informant can help out the police. Show this off, I guess. You just uh, save. You see, I think that was all. And yeah, I did digitally pre-order uh, Kingdom Hearts three. Okay, that was everything in this DLC for trophies and everything. So, yeah. Uh, so that's basically it. Let me, uh... Go back to the main story. I knew that wasn't going to take long to finish. Yeah, I don't really care for the manga verse suit, to be completely honest. I mean... It's basically... I like the classic suit with the cell shading more than I like this one. It's fine, but I don't know. It's It just... the cla With the vintage suit, it's stylized, but I like it. With this, it's stylized, and it's, it's too anime for this more realistic like rendering of New York City. Honestly. But yeah, so basically, that was it. So, showing off these three suits. Honestly, I like the Mark I armor a hell of a lot. Units, civilians need help at the scene of a car accident. Please proceed to cathedral. And it's honestly really, really cool. I just uh, do one more crime to show it off. Nasty car wreck down there. People might be hurt. I think that debris is trapping someone inside that car. I've got you! Which, I've always loved this uh, suit ever since the 90s cartoon. Ever since I saw the last four episodes of the 90s cartoon. Thanks. Where they use this for one of the alternate universe Spider-Man. It was honestly really, really cool. Spider-Man! There's a bunch of guys trying to rob a store. I need to find whoever caused this wreck before anyone else gets hurt. Avengers Tower. I think it's right here. I hate the fact that it doesn't save which ones of these you have on and off in between when you turn a, turn the game on and off. Honestly. It's really, really dumb. But yeah, and if, uh, if you guys remember from years ago, like seven years ago at this point, when this video was recorded, maybe a little bit over, I played 
a replay through uh, Spider-Man Edge of Time on the hardest difficulty while having Spider-Man 2099 wear the suit. Honestly, I I kind of like the fact that the um, stylistically changed 2099 suit to have that um aura uh, or not aura, but like some kind of like electricity flowing over his suit at all times back and forth and it was really really cool I like that in uh, Shattered Dimensions and Edge of Time it's a stylistic change but one that I actually really really like and well I've never well I wasn't really a fan of 2099 they made him look cool in Edge of Time and Shattered Dimensions but yeah and then they had this suit on for, I believe I also used it for Shadow Dimensions. Unfortunately, the cutscenes didn't render in real time, but I did have 2099 wear this suit for my replaythroughs of Shadow Dimensions and Edge of Time. You can go watch those on either my main channel or this gaming channel. But yeah, I love this suit. Like I said, I loved it since the 90s cartoon when they showed it off in the four episodes with the alternate Spider-Man. It's honestly really, really cool. I think it's the best out of the DLC suits that we've gotten thus far. Just to give you a sense of my thoughts on each suit as we go. Um, good. The white accents are okay. Not on the arms, but, you know. Um, and the suit coloring is meh. Um, classic suit. I don't get why the classic suit is rendered like this. But, you know, okay. Noir suit, really good. Love it. Uh, Scarlet Spider 1 suit, like it. Uh, the electrically insulated suit, don't really care for it. Negative suit, really good. Um, for being a negative version of the main suit in this game. Stark suit, love it. Saw a uh, homecoming Love it. Love the suit and that. It's really honestly a really good design. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do. I also, I've also seen uh, Civil War, but yeah. Secret War suit is okay. Um, it's okay. Spider Armor Mark II. Meh. They had it in the Beanox games as well, at least the Amazing Spider Man games. I don't really. Eh. It's just meh. Spider-Punk, okay. Wrestler suit, I don't like it. Fear itself suit, it's okay. It's just the recoloring of uh, the classic suit um, with really cool gauntlets on his arms. I like the big-time suit. I've always liked it. If you have seen my any of my playthroughs of uh, the first Amazing Spider-Man game, I worn it in some of those videos, and, uh, I liked using it. Definitely at night, it really does, uh, go up with the aesthetic of nighttime. Spider Armor Mark III, I don't like it. I really don't. It's too bulky, too large, and I don't really care for it. Spirit Spider, really don't care for it. It's not necessarily bad, but it's not my style. Mark IV, or Spider Armor Mark IV, awesome. Keeps the style of the original suit, but also has a really cool spider emblem and a nice shininess due to it being armor. Velocity suit. Don't really care for it, honestly. Iron Spider suit from uh, uh, Infinity War. Really good. I do like it a lot. Um, the coloring could use some work, but, you know, like, I don't think the blues should be as navy or as black as they are, but it's okay. And the reds, they're more of crimson. It goes okay with the entirety of the suit. I just think that the colors, or the colors are not as great. Twenty ninety nine. I don't mind it, but realistically, um, I do like how they stylized it in the Beanox games better. So, yeah, like I said, Spider Man twenty ninety nine white suit actually pretty good. I kind of like it more than the regular twenty ninety nine suit, but it's it's really good. The vintage comic book suit, I already love it. It's uh, it's basically the uh, the classic suit, just, you know, cell shaded to match the comics and everything. And even the eyes are like this sort of green-ish yellow type color to simulate old comic book pages, which is really cool. 
Last Stand suit, probably my favorite suit in this game, besides the Stark suit and the Spider-Man Mark 1 suit. I really love it. I really dig it. It's awesome. Like, I love this. If you've seen my playthrough of the uh, New Game Plus mode in this game, I wore it for the majority of that after a while, after I unlocked it. It's honestly awesome. I love it. Undies, it's okay for a gag. I may do a replay through of this game in New Game Plus while just wearing that for every cutscene. Um, just as a goof. You know, if you guys want that, let me know in the comments. Uh, homemade soup, it's okay. It's from Homecoming. Um, I don't mind it, but there's a reason why, you know, he upgraded to different suits. Uh, let's go from what you can unlock in this game. ESU suit. Basically like the undies, but, you know, with clothes on, it's okay. anti suit. I actually like the design a lot. Um, it's not really that, like, useful outside of, like, a nighttime setting or fighting against Doc Ock or any other, uh, what do you call it? Um, boss in this game. The dark suit slash, like, black cat suit. It's actually pretty nice. I like it. I played through the entirety of the black cat or the heist in it uh the first time through with and you guys have probably seen those videos if you're watching these um it's honestly really cool and i do like the um there's a little detail where he has claws on his hands i don't really think you can see it here but he has claws on his hands on his fingers in the suit with the gloves and i do like that aesthetic choice especially since black cat made it for him so yeah Resilient suit, I don't like it. I don't like the coloring, I don't like the design. It was one specifically made for this game. I wish they had went back to the drawing board. And on top of that, the eyes. They're too, like... They're too slit for me, or whatever the hell the right word is. They're too, like, narrow, in my opinion. Spider UK, it's okay. Uh, the eyes are a little bit too... Uh narrow again like i said i don't mind it realistically but um it looks unfinished and what i mean by that is that there's no spider emblem on his chest i don't know why spider U yeah spider uk or spider man uk chose this for the suit um i really wish that there was a spider emblem in in the middle of it because otherwise i wouldn't actually mind the suit but it's just eh. um Scarlet Spider 2 suit, I like it. I really do like it. I've liked it ever since I first saw it in one of the Beanox games. I think it was one of the Amazing Spider-Man games. It's really, really good. I do like it. Not as much as the first one, but I do like it. Spider-Man Mark 1, like I said, love it. Probably one of the best suits in this game. Uh, definitely top 5 for me, for the ones that they put into this game. Then we got... Iron Spider Armor, the classic one from the comics. I really do like it. I dig it. Um, I like it a lot more than the Civil War, or not Civil War, uh, Infinity War version. Um, but considering the Infinity War version is meant to be more of an MCU type thing, I get it. I do like it more than that, though. Definitely top 10. Spider Clan. Ugh. I'm sure his comic's fine, um, but I really don't care for the Spider-Clan outfit. It's... And I do like anime and manga, it's just that... Uh, the manga verse suit is just... I don't know, it clashes aesthetically with the entire game, realistically. I don't mind it, and it's there if you want it. But realistically, I like the vintage comic book suit a lot better in terms of the cell shaded look with the stylized or stylization of it. Um, it also looks a little tall. Like I've seen the some of the illustrations of Spider Clan or uh, Peter Parker from and Spider Man from those. I've seen pictures, and it honestly looks like he should be a little bit shorter than this game has Spider Man at. Uh, it's not necessarily bad, it's not one of my favorites, honestly. Uh, so yeah, so once the next three suits and the next DLC come out, I will give you guys my thoughts on those, and then probably do a ranking at some point uh, for the suits. I want to do this game and its DLCs, and I'll do a top 10 for the um, 
suits or maybe just a ranking list of suits so yeah although a lot of these suits are realistically gonna be very tough to see or to say which ones i like more than the others uh in terms of the ones that i said i don't really care for but yeah spider armor mark one i really do love this design it's really awesome uh, unfortunately, the black, depending on the lighting, as you can see here, and if you saw the promotional image for this DLC for the suits, it can appear to be black if the light's not shining on it, or if the or if there's not good lighting on it. Like, in the render for the promotional image with the three suits for this DLC, it just appeared all black, when the metal is actually silver, and, um... It's the lighting that they use in this game. It's not the lighting's not bad on it. It just makes it look black for no entire for no real reason, unfortunately. But yeah. Um, so basically that's gonna be it for this. This has been the Turf Wars DLC for Spider Spider-Man PS4. I'll see you guys for the next one.